Hello and welcome to Walk with a Dog. My name is Dr. Melinda Hermans and I'm a professor in the School of Nursing at the University of Texas at Tyler. Today I would like to talk with you about a health topic that is near and dear to my heart and that is Parkinson's disease. You may have heard of Parkinson's as there are a number of well-known public figures that have shared that they have Parkinson's disease. Michael J. Fox, Muhammad Ali, Robin Williams, Janet Reno, Pope John Paul II, Neil Diamond, and Billy Graham, just to name a few. Films sharing their diagnosis has helped increase awareness about a disease that many may not otherwise know about. So what is Parkinson's disease? Parkinson's is a chronic progressive nervous system disorder that is caused by a loss of nerve cells in the brain that control movement. Diagnosis of Parkinson's is based on medical history, symptoms, and a physical exam. And brain scans may also be ordered. Symptoms may include a tremor where the person experiences involuntary shaking when the body is at rest. The person might move very slowly and might drool or experience decreased blinking. Arms and legs might become rigid or stiff. The person with Parkinson's can have difficulty walking or have trouble with balance. But Parkinson's is not just a movement disorder. It can also affect an individual's thinking and mental health as well. Interestingly, one of the earliest symptoms of Parkinson's may be a loss of smell, and this can predate diagnosis by 20 to 30 years. Pain may also be an early symptom of Parkinson's, such as a painful or frozen shoulder. Also, a change in handwriting may be an early indicator of Parkinson's disease, where the handwriting gets smaller or is crowded. Sleep problems, depression, and anxiety may also be present. People with Parkinson's can also experience constipation and stomach and bladder problems. It is important to understand that not all persons with Parkinson's disease share the same symptoms as no two persons with Parkinson's are the same. Parkinson's is a complex neurological disorder that may be easily misunderstood by the general public. For example, tremors or uncontrolled involuntary movements may be mistakenly thought of as normal aging. And sometimes other people may think people with Parkinson's are drunk or not of sound mind. While the visible symptoms of Parkinson's disease are more evident, some of the symptoms are not noticeable. This is why increasing awareness and understanding about Parkinson's disease is important because it is unfair to think someone is drunk or mentally impaired when in fact they have Parkinson's. Another noticeable and commonly misunderstood symptom is facial masking. And this is where a person with Parkinson's may have a reduced or emotionless facial expression. This is important to understand because of the lack of facial expression often referred to as a masked face can be misinterpreted as the person with Parkinson's being angry or sad, when in reality, it is the Parkinson's that causes the muscles in the face to be stiff. One of the most common myths surrounding Parkinson's disease is that it only happens in the older population. While age does play a factor, Parkinson's can occur at any age. Michael J. Fox, for example, was diagnosed with early onset Parkinson's when he was 29 years old. So let's look at how Parkinson's can be treated. While medication is the most common treatment, surgical therapy and lifestyle modifications can help manage the disease. Rest and exercise are very important. Evidence has shown that exercising a minimum of two and a half hours a week can help slow the progression of the disease and help improve one's overall quality of life. Activities such as walking, Tai Chi, yoga, dance, weight training, and boxing are beneficial. You heard me right, I did say boxing. That is non-contact boxing. And the great news is that we have rock steady boxing right here in East Texas for the Parkinson community. There is help. The Parkinson Foundation has an array of online resources for the person with Parkinson's disease and their care partners, including education, advocacy, and making connections through online discussions. 
There are also aware and care hospital kits available for persons with Parkinson's to prepare before, during, and after a hospital visit. If you or anyone you know experience any of these symptoms mentioned, please talk to your healthcare provider. There are various Parkinson types, and because each person is different, Parkinson's can be challenging to diagnose. So we must be proactive and take charge of our health. This is why it's critical that we continue to educate and increase awareness about Parkinson's disease. And this applies to the person with Parkinson's, their care partner, family, friends, and healthcare professionals to get the best treatment possible. It is my hope that you will find this information helpful and that you will be able to share with others so that we can help bring awareness to Parkinson's disease. Thank you.